Hey, hi, hello everyone. It's been hello. again a while. It's been a while. I've been here with my middle grade loves. Uh, although this is Chris's well, first official book club middle grade monthly live discussion. We've done reading sprints, we've done the whole reading races and stuff for press, but I think this is Chris's first time on the big screen. On it is middle grade normally. Monthly. Normally, I was like in the comments, and I was actually preparing links for the ice whispers as well. Oh, wait, wait, no, Chase, like, hold up, bitches. Um, <laughs> it is. Normally, normally, I was like in the comments, I and I was actually preparing links for the ice whispers. Oh, oh wait, no, Chase. <laughs> it presses at you. <laughs> there we go. It's all I, I heard what you said, though, Jade. Yes, you're right. You, you're right. February will for a spell. You were there for that one. Oh, yeah, that is very true because Gavin went a little bit MIA. That, that, Look, I, I was just filling in then. We've that all was... done it. We've all done it. <laughs> yeah, we all disappeared. And we all forget that anyway because I wasn't there. So, uh. anyway, <laughs> this month, I hope that we've done. I still haven't. I don't know what Jade thinks about this one. I'm bracing myself. I know what Pris thinks. I know what Pris thinks. Pris loved it. But I, I with Jade, I'm a bit like. But anyway, before we get into discussions with hat makers, <sighs> uh, honestly, I'm terrified, Jade. I'm terrified. Why are you so nervous? I'm just terrified. Because okay. <laughs> you're like my middle grade monarch. I if think... you. Yeah, I think you gave it four stars. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm guessing. Okay, four stars. let's making predictions. Okay. 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 Well, I'll, I'll guess four stars as well then. But I feel like that's <laughs> wishful thinking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get to that a little bit later. First of all, uh, I mean, welcome everyone. Of course, welcome and make sure that you put in the live chat that you're here. We want to say hello and yeah. Um, First things first, we always talk about what the next book is going to be. Uh, so Jade and Pr well, I don't know if Pris has it on hand, but Jade does. No, Yay. I don't have it yet. Oh, no. <laughs> Plenty of time. Uh, Jade uh, has next month's book club pick, which is... In middle grade monthly tradition, our February mm -hmm. pick lines up very nicely with Polathon. So we mm -hmm. have The Ice Whisperers by Helenka Stasher. Yeah, probably that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to see if I can find any interviews, but she's a debut author, so I don't think there's any kind of pronunciations online for it. I want to say Stashira. Yeah. But I apologize if I'm incorrect on that one. But polar fantasy. Polar fantasy, complete, like, I was going to say age gap. There is an age gap. <laughs> Is holding on age gap romance. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Sisters separated by 500. Is it 500 years? Something like that, yeah, surely. In along that. Oh, no, not 500 years at all. Uh, 5,000. Um, 40,000. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You are way off. <laughs> 40,000 years apart sisters bit of a portal fantasy with our modern day sister going back in time to find her forty thousand year younger sister wow yeah. i didn't oh, even yeah. know that that was the the plot yeah mm -hmm. there's no idea frozen land exploration bit of icy magic seems like there could be in the air look at those little mammoths on the back oh Freaking adorable. Oh, I love that. That's that's you know idea fuel for Polathon, isn't it? Mammoths. So if mammoths. there are like if there are mammoths, mm -hmm. it's an excellent, excellent suggestion for one of my <laughs> animals. So oh, oh, oh you got rid of her. Bring her Fine. back. Bring <laughs> my animal queen back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Press, but I just couldn't. Oh, that speak. didn't take long. That didn't take long for you to keep me out. <laughs> you are my animal, Arctic animal queen, oh, wow. and my explorer king. 
Oh, okay. I can, I can get with that. Yeah. And you are the goddess. Like, you are yes. above everything. Mm -hmm. Except are... right now I'm below the goddess. Oh, yeah. The goddess looks up at you. Yeah, 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 maybe. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like you should be above both of us, but I can't put both of us on the bottom yeah. and one person on the top. I wish we could. I genuinely wish we could. That would be so much fun. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? I'd like that, yeah. I'd love it as well, uh, just to have me at the top by myself, put you both at the bottom, it would be amazing. <laughs> but yeah, magical world in danger, sisters, saving saving the world. Polar fans? Yes. So if you were on the lookout for a polar fantasy for Polarthon, it is a good option. Tis. Tis. It probably hits so many prompts. It will hit many prompts. Many, so many. many. Um, but yeah, and there's illustrations and stuff throughout it as well. So Oh, that's cute. Probably gonna be a pretty quick, quick read to Oh, oh! I kind of like that. It's like, almost like unfinished drawings, almost. Little illustrations. Yeah, I do like that. Oh, check it Ooh. out. Okay, yeah. So everyone, make sure that you get on it if you possibly can. Um, I know, like internationally, I don't think it's quite released, but you can still get it off Book Depository, Amazon, Waterstones, all of the good places. All the good places. Yeah, normally oh. I would like insert links at this point, but I'm here yeah. now. We dragged Pris from her regular duties. Dragged <gasps> by her I'm hair. I'm sure you can type the ice whisperers into Amazon or Waterstones yourself. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no. I'm sure I'm sure you are capable of doing that. <laughs> the Ice Whisperers by Halenka Stashera. We will find out exactly how to pronounce her surname by the next live show. Sachira, Stachira. I think maybe Sachira sounds. Sachira, Sachira. Sounds Stachira. like Shakira. Shakira, yeah. Could be that. Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> look, look, guys, leave the singing to me. Okay. Leave the singing to me. But I'm not going to sing tonight. I'm pooped. I'm pooped. And I just I want to, oh. want to talk about hat makers tonight, okay? I don't want to take the attention off the hat makers. What were you about to say, Press? <laughs> I was gonna say them is already on it to the link. So I'm now I'm just oh, uh, them, them can do my duties. Thank you so much. Looks you like are the best. replacement. <laughs> yeah. I said right. I was I was trying to keep to the ratings because everyone I want to know what your ratings are for the hat makers in the comments. So I was trying to keep towards the um I was up at the top, so I didn't see very many of the comments. But I love seeing all of the team explorers in. I haven't seen a single team Arctic animals, whatever they're bloody called, yeah, in the comments. Where, where are my animals? Can the animals please <laughs> go? Can't see a single one. Like just explorers, explorers, explorers. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I feel awful. Well, team know, Arctic animals. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a big team, but you know it's all about the average. It's, it's all cool. well. I, I'm always above average. I'm above average, girl. <laughs> Wait, no, this is Milky Monthly. Stop that. <laughs> How many people are just taking the pilgrims' path? Oh, oh, Ooh. oh! Are oh, they a pilgrim got... here? Noel's a pilgrim. Yes. Yes, one pilgrim, two Arctic animals, and 20,000 explorers. Love it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I'll talk to you at the end, end of the week. End of the week. Uh, okay, so as we keep fueling this, Paul, well, as we're getting excited for Paulathon coming up, uh, right, let's uh, get back to the ratings. I'm all over the place on these comments. I apologize. I apologize. You are so chaotic. Uh, well, I just I just match you, Pris, uh, because I love you. Anyway, four stars. Hope to read the second book. I'm sure I saw three stars before this. Everyone, drop your star ratings in the chat. Right about yeah, now, so yeah. You might have it. you might have to do it again. Yeah. Drop your I'm star so... ratings now. No. Now, now, yeah. Let, let, okay, star ratings again. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> 
Uh, three stars. <gasps> oh, I just saw one that like almost ripped a hole in my heart. 1.75 stars. Too nonsensical, incredibly predictable. And what in the world was that French? Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh my, my Lord. Lord. Charlotte. Oh, my Lord. Charlotte. Charlotte. She came to hit. <laughs> she came to hit me. <laughs> Protect me. <laughs> uh, gave it five stars. Love it so much. 3.5, 4.75, 5, 4, 4, 4. 4. Four, four, five, four point five, four. Um, first, how did the keep it along live show go? It went really well. I was so nervous because I thought that nobody would show up. Oh no! And there Most were were excited for it. There were there were consistent like forty five to fifty people actually, like the whole live show, uh, which was amazing, and people like actually genuinely seem to enjoy have enjoyed it and are excited for the sequel so Steph uh, yeah. do I have a mod can we can we block Steph please no I'm we joking. cannot block Steph I'm joking I'm joking but I did expect better from you Steph I'm just saying I'm joking I'm joking I love you Steph I love you okay <laughs> five three point five let's see this is why I'm dreading what it's gonna say <laughs> didn't mean you just give the whole thing quiet right now I'm holding on to the suspense I yeah. I I don't know. I'm I I think I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna guess again. I think she rated it three stars. Maybe three point five. Maybe. Look at the face. Oh, I four, am, I just, am I just making you hang on for nothing? And it got yeah. five. That could. That no, could I didn't think it got five from you. I didn't think. I don't think I got five. But then again, <laughs> ah, someone watched it back. The keeper along yeah, that show. Yay. We had a really good discussion, so it was really good. We've got other predictions coming in. Two things she rated five. Chase Feast tell me she rated like two. Jay love the color on you. Oh. oh, thank you. It's new. I got it today. <laughs> it's all the blue. All of the blue. Are we ready? Right. I am. I am. I rate it. I That's it. Yes. Yeah. No <laughs> fair. Fair. Yeah. Well, we're going to find out why. And I'm yeah, we're gonna find out why. And I think the re the the reasons that Jade like didn't give it more than three are the reasons for me to give it five. I think yeah. so. We're probably on yeah. the right tracks here. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so thankful that you didn't rate it lower than Pages and Cole. I would have flipped a table. <laughs> There's a great example of a certain type of middle grade that I don't mm -hmm. love. Think Pages and Co. Think Wizards of Once, beloved nonsensical middle grades. I said this so many times. For me, the hat makers was never more crossed over with Wizards of Once. That was it for me. That that was it. Like the world building would feel very Nevermore to me, and the nonsensical felt very Wizard of Once to me. And I both love these series, both yeah, of them. Same. So they're making a baby. I'm gonna love it. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it so much. Well, uh, yes. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the live show. Really appreciate it. We will see you next month for Polathon for Ice Whisperers. Um, oh, Bye. actually, this is a good... <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Early night, y'all. Um, oh, Steph gave Nevermore Wizards one four five stars. I'll be interested to see what Steph thinks of it. Steph, do you want a link? Do you want to do this face-to-face? -face? Just soon. <laughs> <laughs> Inviting everyone. <laughs> Steph, on you pop. <laughs> on your pop, Steph, on your pop. <laughs> um, okay, Jay, did you listen to the audio book or just um, physical? Let's get audio. Fizz oh, audio. Okay, did you like the audio book? Me too. I also did the audio. Yeah. 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 yeah the I, it's narrated by her, right? Yeah. 
Do you think really? job because yeah, yeah, she did the I, didn't know uh, that. I always find it oh well not always, but like yeah. most of the time I find it a bit peculiar when an author re- kind of reads their own book. Um and sometimes I don't know if they like pull it off very well, but I, I thought she did. Like it. I quite like it when yeah. authors read their own books because they know the tone that mm-hmm. they were supposed to have. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes I think, are they actually qualified? Fortunately, Tamsin Merchant is, because she is an actress. So an actress, yeah. You, know, she, you could really tell in the way that she did the character voices and yeah. how silly. It made me laugh a lot. Because, yeah, I agreed with the comment before. A lot of it's, like, very nonsensical and uh, a bit silly. And, like, I don't know, like, it felt very purposeful at some points. Like, some of the adults in, in the series, I was talking about this with my patrons, some of the adults in the series are just, like, so far-fetchedly silly in a way and like especially when it comes to i know yeah this is one thing like um but like tamsin merchant did a great way of like making it funnier in the audiobook because when i read it physically for the first time i thought this is yeah this is maybe a bit too silly like with some of the adults but when i listened to the audiobook and you could hear the voices and stuff i was like this is hilarious like i could say this is a film this is like i had like yeah. Two moments that I absolutely cracked up with dying laughter and I almost oh, pissed yeah. myself. Two moments in the book mm-hmm. that I was just hysterically laughing. Oh, do you remember what they were? Yes, of course I do remember what they were. It it. Was, the first moment was the moment that these two men were going to duel each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they both got like this love, love, lovish hat and they fell in love with each other. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I thought it was mm-hmm. so good. And yeah. then the second moment, do I have the book? Yes, I have the book. I'm going to grab it. Don't mind okay, me. Yeah. I, I am in my pajamas. I am not prepared. I was not prepared to go live. Well, so Thank God like... you've got bottoms on. That's all I'm saying. Thank God you've got bottoms on because I don't. This is why I got a blanket on. No, I'm choking. I'm choking. I do. I do. Uh, Jade, thoughts? <laughs> um, it is, is exactly what I just said. It was a little bit too nonsensical for me, a little bit too chaotic. And I saw a lot of the comparisons being like Howl's Moving Castle meets Nevermore. Um, and I think from the Howl's Moving Castle perspective, like it's literally just that they're hats that get slightly magicked. There is no other similarity there. Mm. The vibes were totally different. It was just magical hats. Um, mm. And I'm really sorry I didn't get the Nevermore vibes because something with Nevermore for me is... Nevermore is a whimsical, magical, slightly nonsensical world, but the way that Jessica Townsend wrote it it is so fantastic that it feels real, despite being nonsensical and wacky. Whereas with The Hatmakers, I just didn't think the world building was anywhere near deep enough, or the atmosphere was anywhere near deep enough for anything to feel real, and it just felt chaotic to me um yeah there's a lot more condensed isn't it like the kind of magic system in honey because it's more condensed than nevermore it's more like i feel like the magic is so normal in or not exactly normal but like people don't really bat an eye to the hats and what they do like it's just a, a normal thing and not even just the hats but the other maker families like they seem to be this legendary line of families in this world that we don't really get to see a whole lot of history about other than what happened with the, the king makers? Some of the the if we're doing core power ratings, where some of the logic fell through for me a little bit is that a lot of it just didn't make sense in the world. Like I don't feel like we got enough world building, enough backstory, enough context to understand this world, and it was just chaotic entertainment for the funny factor. And maybe because she's an actress, she has a flair for the dramatics. I don't know, but it was just a little bit OTT. Um, And I don't think it was fleshed out enough. But at the same time, I think there was a slight issue with pacing in in the beginning, the plot is almost positioned to be something that it then didn't end up being until the end when I think that's now what the plot of the sequel is going to be 
Um, I think the pacing of that was a bit flipped and off and should have been the other way around it, because I agree it, with meant, that. it meant that I expected something completely different to what I got, which just felt like the plot wasn't going anywhere and nothing was happening because halfway through the plot kind of changed direction to be something different. So then the actual plot was only half of the book, which then wasn't enough for it to be fleshed out properly. And it felt like the whole first half of the book was like dilly dallying to a point where it could just swap. Do you know what I mean? Because I did expect her to go looking for her father. Like that's what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, and then it was all of a sudden, oh, we need to make a peace hat to stop war. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I really didn't mind that all that much. I, I just had such a good time reading it. Yeah, uh, I um, found the I, second part though, which made me laugh. Oh yeah, yeah. Let us know what is it? What is it? It's the letter that King uh, Louis of France uh, oh. sent to Georgina, the princess, and the ending was. Perhaps you should allow a man to take charge of England, which was a brave and powerful nation when a man ruled. If no man can be found, I suggest that one of my mother, Poodles, Fru Fru, take the job. Fru Fru the Poodle is a very good dog. He sits on command and can count up to ten, which is more than I have heard about you. And I thought it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. I don't know why I find this so funny, but I was just in absolute hysterics about this. Yeah, just when you hear <laughs> like the audiobook why. French accent in it as well, it just makes it even. I even think better. that was part of yeah. it. Like, yeah, the audio it was just so funny, and I was just in absolute hysterics Fair. when I read Fair. that. Uh, it looks like Steph agrees with you as well, Jade, about like the whole like. Um, kind of being set up with the dad and stuff made more sense coming at the end. Coach may pick up the next book, focus on the mystery for this book. I think why it wasn't was because, like, I, I asked my patrons as well. I'm like, the second book's the map makers, right? Like, how is she going to be able to use her hat making skills to find her father? Is she just going to run into random hat shops, make people hats, and that's how she's going to find her father? Like, I, when I think about how her talents as a hat maker and her family as hat makers, how how is that going to help the mystery you know like how is she going to go on this adventure because i feel like i this might be just be a duology i don't know jade but they can't just make hats because right. a cane maker uh -oh. also made boots and hats mm. and capes and watches so she can make other things yeah if she puts her mind to it because the magic isn't in the hat pin the magic's in her. that's a fair point but then the hat makers wouldn't be, be able to like kind of develop her as a hat maker go on <laughs> she's so eager towards the end when she has that very little speech where she says we're all makers we focus too much on the beginning of our name not enough on the end of our name we're all makers mm. we're better when we do it all together yeah well no yeah that's that's fine but like that's what we'll explore in the map makers and things that's what we're got, getting to but like the hat makers the first book where being introduced to this hat maker family and like their role in well, what they do for the princess, what they well, it, actually, yeah, essentially what they do for the princess, what they do for the people, you know, selling hats in the hat shop and, you know, kind of just like building that foundation rather than, okay, they can do everything. So what's the point in just being a hat maker? So I feel like the first book anyway was less on the, I mean, yeah, the dad and the whole mystery stuff is definitely important. And I think it's going to be way more important than the second book. Um, mm -hmm. So I can totally see why you would think maybe that would be the most interesting thing about this one. Because I did ask my patrons as well. I was like, what do you think about the war, the, the war plot then? Because really this is a book about war and about this looming war with France and like how Cordelia ends up getting herself entangled in that and how she ends up, and again, sorry, probably spo spoiler chats now, spoiler chats, um, and like how she gets entangled in all of that. Uh, so yeah, like it, this was more a book about war and... It was. How, yeah, like that, that that was the main plot of this one. It wasn't really her dad. Um, so I think, yeah, having her 
especially at the very start, her dad going missing on this ship and stuff. That's um, why I getting lost at sea. It was a little bit off. I feel like yeah. we should have had all of this war plot and then someone come to say, oh, by the way, all this time you thought your dad was at sea getting stuff. Actually, he's lost at sea and you're never going to see him again. Yeah. That could be I, also a great yeah. ending to the book. Yeah. It would have been a great yeah. cliffhanger sort of thing for them to be like, oh, everything was great and we've just sold the thing and we're now in really high regard with the king and the princess and everything's great. But oh no, my father's vanished. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Whereas I just think the pacing was a bit off with having that revealed at the beginning and then the mm. plot feeling like it's very slowly developing into nothing because it's not mm. what it was set out to be at the beginning. Yeah. I kind of feel like, yeah, yeah, no, 100%. I agree with that. Uh, I feel Maybe I should, I, I don't know, like looking back now, maybe I should give it four stars instead of five. Let's not, let's not talk about stuff like that. Right, so, no. I, yeah. Yeah. Um, so like oh no what i like about it anyway the, was the fact that we do have at the start we have the the dad disappearing and stuff so like if that had been the whole focus of this book then would we have seen a resolution at the end of it um but like what i liked about it was that it was a bit more slow towards it but like cordelia's making like very more realistic i know this like a whole like whimsy and nonsensical but it's a bit more realistic like cordelia doesn't just up and even go find her father like she does little things to find her father she goes well she helps hugo and in doing so she gets the tickets to see the princess she begs you know can i get a ship to find my father there is news about the cabin boy or whatever being you know a sole survivor so she goes and sees him and then turns out he's been whisked away i don't think it would have been realistic for her to be able to just up and go and find her father especially since she sent the pigeon with the you know like the pigeon can find lost things and like it goes away at the start and she's like okay find my father and then comes back with the map at the end and i feel like i think i think the length of time between that because she was holding out hope for this pigeon to come back i think the length of time between that is indicative that this is going to be like a long adventure for her to find her father it's not going to be straightforward and easy but i i do agree though i do agree that because the book was set up in doing that like the very first chapter was the correlation between cordelia like pretending she was like commandeering a ship or whatever in, in like in the high seas kind of thing like that was and then going into the fact that oh your father is lost at sea like you're imagining all of this so i love that kind of like correlation but because we started off that way it gave the the false impression that that's what we we would focus on in the book i totally agree with that i do yeah uh oh yeah isn't it's sophie isn't it she works in a hat shop sophie is a hat maker yeah yeah uh a younger yeah. audience then name yeah. is sophie hatter sophie because she's a hatter <laughs> <laughs> well what did you think about cordelia as a character then did you I like her? i did like her yeah on my like profile rating i think characters came out the highest i did like her as a character as an individual i think she was not that i like the word spunky but i think she was spunky <laughs> She definitely like felt very mature and like a little bit more mature than her age, especially since she was like offering tea to like what was it when Sam she first meets Sam and um he's selling the papers and shouting for the daily slap and that's something I found really funny. I found the daily slap quite funny, but um she offers him tea, she takes some tea out and stuff, and I'm just like, gosh, that's I mean, that that is you know the whole yeah. yeah that's that's the whole Georgian kind of thing that they would do. I'm just like, gosh. She's probably more mature than I am, to be honest. Yo, who uh, is it? Sorry. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> um, Sam was my favorite. Sam. Yeah. Sam was Sam. my favorite. I loved Sam. Yeah, I think Sam. And also, a lot of people, when I was talking to them uh, about Sam, were surprised that Sam turned out to be a girl. Yeah. Were you surprised? I was surprised at that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see that coming. But did right? A lot of people say that they found this predictable. Did you guys find this predictable? Oh yeah, I knew who it was from the beginning. Did you know who both of them were? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah, I knew about Lord. What's his name? Lord. Lord Whitney. Whit Whit but I didn't see the the nanny. I didn't see that coming. The nanny. No. No. I did not. Did not. Not. Not see the nanny coming. But the I Lord I saw coming. That was very. 
that was very obvious to me from the beginning. Like he wanted the war because of his Canon company. I saw it both. Like from the moment I met both characters, I was like, okay, that's them then. <laughs> See, I didn't I didn't catch it. Um the one thing that I did catch both on a reread. You didn't get both of them? No, because Lord Willow I got Lord Lord Willow I did get like hints at. But it was um it was the nanny to begin with. On the second read of it, um it was when and I don't know why, because obviously when she focuses on the cane and stuff and um Cordelia's like, Why do you have a cane? and the nanny's like, um, well, I can't remember her name anymore, but uh, she's like, oh, it's for algebra and stuff like that. And like, there's like a lot of fixation on this cane to begin with. And I, did, I didn't catch on to begin with, but what I did catch on to was that because she was letting um, Goose and Cordelia meet up and stuff in the park, and then Cordelia said something like, she kept meeting a fellow in the bushes or something like that. And I, my, I first thought, you dirty bitch, putting this in the middle grade, you should be ashamed but then i realized it, plot and evil things plot and evil things they're not doing it in the bush but like i thought that was like <laughs> something's a bit off with that yeah from yeah. that very first introduction to her with the fact that she lets these two nemesis children hang out together suspicious mm -hmm. that she's employed by both of them secretly I thought it was just sweet and that she would leave them in a park while she goes off to meet this enigmatic man. Suspicious. I just didn't trust her from the very beginning, so. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. did, I did, um, I did realize that like the Lord was behind this, but also I thought there was someone involved from the, the Kane family because there was like very focus on the game family disappearing and blah, blah, and they were ashamed. Blah, blah, blah. And I thought somebody from the Kane family must be involved in this scheming. I just didn't realize it was the nanny. Hmm. I mean, yeah, me too. I, but again, like, again, no spoilers for Frost or nobody ever see this. All right. Cause there might be people who haven't read it, but you know, the, the villain of Frost Heart, you know how obvious that is. I didn't see yeah. it when I first read it. Like, but, why am I like this? I'm laughing at that. It's literally the most obvious thing. It's almost like you were expecting a double bluff there. Yeah, I think I was. Like, deep down, I was like, it's too obvious. It can't be that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, maybe that's what it was with this. I did suspect Lord Whitloof, but it was the nanny. She, she bluffed me. She bluffed me. Uh, someone has... They're saying everyone has magic in their fingertips. They just don't remember. I feel like that's a nice sentiment. I can't remember that part. Oh, we want Gav the bookmaker. Yes, please. And Jade the shitster. I don't want to... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Okay. Um. Oh, right. Okay. So, uh, favorite character. Do we have a favorite character? Sam. Sam. Mm. Oh, do you prefer Sam or Goose? Well, obviously you prefer Sam if Sam's your favorite, but. What about you, Jade? Sam or Goose? Cordelia. Cordelia, yeah. I know she's the main character, so maybe a bit of a, like, standard answer. But Cordelia? Mm. I usually don't... I, I, I'm very weird with this. I usually don't go for the main character as my favourite character. I always have, like, a side character that I really like. Yeah. I just loved yeah. Sam. Oh, same. Honestly, it was the shouting of the headlines and the daily slap and stuff. I loved that. Um, that was yeah. funny. That was really funny. Uh, to do, oh, can someone explain to me how a newborn survives 12 days in the open sea without being nursed? She was in a hat box. It's magic. Come on, Charlotte. <laughs> 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 uh, is she with the dad moved the plot forward because she only got involved in the war because she was trying to find her father yeah I think like but I agree with you on pace and like it felt very I don't know maybe it took a little bit too long to to get to that um, because the little moments you do get you do see Cordelia like because she even has this moment where she's like why am I the only person who's trying to find my father even the adults are like kind of taken back by it because yeah she was the only person like so much of it felt like it was being put on her shoulders um yeah I feel like this doesn't plot in death for a slightly nonsensical book is always going to make it seem less good yeah you're trying to find logic in a lot 
logicality a logicalness a logical a logic logic in the a logical <laughs> why do i struggle with that yeah, word that's like another thing i know like you know when you objectively look at a book you you go for logic and okay it isn't very logic but i don't want i don't want it to be logic i like the nonsense you know what i mean but yeah but you jade jade's gonna say yeah but it still needs to make sense within the world if it pulls me out of it then that I mean, logic goes down logical in an illogical world if there is logic to the illogical you know it still needs to make sense in its world and the world building wasn't fleshed out enough for the illogical to make sense that is true that is true the world wasn't i i love to see like more of of the world more mm -hmm. of the how the makers become makers and stuff like that and the other makers as well yeah yeah uh <laughs> <laughs> this is what I thought to begin with, and I was like, no, this can't be right. <laughs> Didn't trust the teacher, yeah. Knew about Wetloof as soon as Goose mentioned the importance of the lighthouse for ships. Yes, because Wetloof, I totally forgot this as well, but Wetloof has a huge, um, what's the word? Stakes or financial... Stocks? Stocks, yeah. <laughs> That's also another giveaway, I guess. <laughs> Um, don't know enough people on the royal side for that it would have been anyone who else who could have been the villain. Yeah, I think if we had been introduced to a few more characters, we could have tried to have the whole red herring kind of... But I, at the same time, I... They tried that, though, with the M.M. on the show. Oh, the M.M., yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it was a, it was a it was no M.M., it was a W.W. I, 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 I kind of like it, though. There was kind of some... Like, at least, like, it was figured out. It wasn't just, like, a shocking reveal. Like, yeah. especially for Cordelia, like, it was, like, she made the connection. And I would have hated it if, you know, he had to just be like, I'm the evil villain. I've been behind it all. And, you know, Cordelia figured out for herself because she is a kick-ass heroine. With, this, um, with Sal, oh. I did like... Ooh. The uh, discovery of the like ghostly fingerprints on the ledges and stuff with the inky fingers from the newspaper selling and stuff. I did like that touch, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't believe that Sam was actually the evil one. No, for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Your, your reader is actually called Sam. Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grandma, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, she was awesome. The grandma um, was just fantastic. I, I really did like the hammy guys. Like, I could, like, even though her aunt and uncle, they tried their best and stuff, but they were very ignorant and a little neglectful. But I, that definitely allowed us in Cordelia to try and find her father herself mm -hmm. and do all the crazy things that she ended up doing. Um, so in that regard as well, I found them quite, I mean, I did find them a bit silly because it, again, it goes into that thing where adults never listen to children in, in middle grade. Um, but I could kind of see their, their desperation to make these peace clothes for the princess and stuff. And like their family was like riding on this. And it's very sad that, you know, like adults would have to put that above a child who was desperately crying for help and I feel like Cordelia was like I need to find my father and nobody's taking me seriously no one's trying um and so I really like the moment like I like the resolution with the family towards the end I liked that they were like no we were wrong we were wrong we shouldn't have never told you that you couldn't make hats or that you weren't allowed to do that and I, I found that quite nice yeah Hugo I really liked Hugo as well. Even oh, though he gosh. was an obnoxious ass, I really liked Hugo. It's funny because a lot of people said he was annoying as well. He was. I like, he was. was annoying. He was supposed to be annoying. Excellently, obnoxiously annoying. Yeah. Yeah. How easy they escaped a little. And I, just, I just love the fact that he would go like into the street like so dramatically. You know, parading mm. his 
poetry or whatever the, the fuck he was saying. Um, it was just, it was so funny. I thought it was so funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lord Whitloof's motives. Um, he had a good thing going with the royal family. Wasn't he already rich? The rich always want to get richer. Uh -huh. Yep. He had a lot yeah, on this. He had, like this cannon company, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And he thought like, if we go to war, everyone wants to sell or uh, buy my cannons. You know, yeah. because they want to shoot at each other all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Consciousness debut. First, I know I just loved it. Yeah, yeah. I was the same. Like, the first time I read, it, I was like, oh, this is make me feel so magical and so warm inside. Oof, I accidentally skipped. I uh, thought it was weird that Mr. Bottom just shared all of their evil plan and how they did at the end. A lot of, I feel like a lot of middle grade books do that. It's the only way they can explain their motives is by telling I them. Also, though, from her perspective, her motives were very different to Lord Whitliffe's mm -hmm. motives. And yeah. she was doing it all almost for that villain monologue. She wanted an opportunity to be like, ha ha, look at me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you made me. You all pushed me out. You all wanted me dead. Now look. Mm -hmm. at yeah, I go to prison, but still. <laughs> By respect, you know, I felt so bad as well for her. What she'd been through as well. So I think that's yeah. really going to play into the sequel. Also, there was that. It wasn't a big scene, but it was clearly an important scene where Cordelia. Um, in the main building, I can't remember what it's called, where all the doors are. Um, but she goes oh. up to the cane maker's door, and the guard says, Oh, no, you can't go in there, it's dangerous. And she says, Why? What's in there? And he says, Best not to know. Mm. So clearly, that's going to be important as well. So it's not the last we've seen of her, is it? I, I really hope not. I hope not. No, I uh, don't think so. No. Um, so. The... Oh, the guild hall, yes. The maker's yeah. guild. Uh, so you must have liked some aspects of the world building then, because I do think, like, especially with the hat making, and I love the glossary in the back as well with all the ingredients and how these, like, I'm hats and so stuff help. That. Yeah, like, I felt like it was, like, very charming, and, like, a lot of it was, like, quite unique and imaginative to this world. Um... Yeah, I, I really liked, I think it was probably one of the strongest parts of this book is that um, we had this kind of unique concept of the hat maker, well, the makers in general, but I definitely will love to see it go a little bit further rather than the, the, the plot of this one was about the war and stuff. Like, and that's why I'm excited for the second one, the map makers, because it sounds like it's a, an adventure waiting to happen. Um, and I feel like, yeah, that whole concept of, the maybe she is, will um i was thinking about this maybe she will like um find some ingredients for new hats you know on her travels mm. because they do go out to find all these ingredients right there are a lot of ingredients like in the glossary and i thought that was like um one of the strongest points of the book because i thought mm. they were so clever you know with a hat yeah. Like, it's not just a head. You, like, put thought into it with ingredients and stuff and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it needs to weigh, like, exactly that amount because if it's too little, it's not enough and it's too much, then what happens with Sir Hugo? You know, it's too much and you get that. So I thought that was really, really cool. And mm -hmm. I would I would love to see them, like, I don't know, go on an expedition to find ingredients for a new head or something like that so, yeah yeah um is this kind of like what you were saying as well jade like with like the logic of the world and like maybe some of the inconsistencies of it not like kind of abiding by its own rules almost this wasn't what i had in mind but it makes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> clean as well yeah let's but pretend we didn't say that <laughs> at the same time I have to appreciate from a lover of middle grades perspective, you know, the magic of children, the innocence and hope of children. It's probably a lot easier for a child to put that purity into something like that than it is for a bunch of adults that are so tainted by other things. 
So if anything, I think it would make more sense for it to take Cordelia less time because she is so full of hope and good intentions. Yeah. Whereas, as we experienced, when she touched the peace hat that her aunt had made, she could sense the tension and she could sense mm. everything else that her aunt had. So if yeah. anything, I think that makes more sense. But it took Cordelia. Yeah. No, that makes sense to me, actually. You kind of enlightened me on that one, too. I didn't yeah, quite think did. of it like that, yeah. I didn't think of it that like that as well. That's one instinct, yeah. That too. Mm -hmm. Intuition instead of by the book, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. Um, question I did, is, well, it was on the audiobook as well, the glossary, so I did listen to it. Yeah. Maybe um, the next one, did. I will. I have no immediate plans to. I'm just not that intrigued. But maybe one day if I fancy it or if it gets a lot of hype or if lots of people are saying it's like so much better than the first one or something. Like there is room for me to be encouraged. But as of is right now... Is there a cover already? When does it come out? The cover's been released. Didn't you do the cover release, Gav? I did, yeah. It's lots of that. Also, can we just talk? Ooh, got it. It's beautiful. Oh it's beautiful. God. Can we also take a moment to appreciate the cover, but also mm -hmm. the naked hardback? The naked I mean, hardback always. beautiful. It's gorgeous. Because I'm sorry, but this is just stunning. So stunning, and I like the little. Um, like phrase like do no harm you know mm -hmm. i like that it's just really yeah. pretty do we it know what the, what the naked hardcover from the second one will look like no i mean i've got it <laughs> i could <Do> show yet <laughs> can you take the dust jacket off that i could I, emma will you let me know if any of this is a spider on the on the dust jacket because i did I did show it, but I don't know if it's a spoiler. It's got stuff on it. It's got stuff on it. Emma, will you let me know? Emma, Emma should know. Um, but what I did notice, what I did notice, and why I think this might just be a duology, is that at the end of the hat makers, there was coming soon the map makers, and there's nothing at the end of this to indicate there is another one. So I don't know if maybe it is just like a two part story that Tamsin was working on for it to wow. just be two books. Um, Maybe. so I don't, I don't know. I have not. I have not. I really want to. Okay. Uh, is edging us with the naked cover. <laughs> okay. I'll show you the cover. Uh, I like it. When, when does it come out? Is it already the, out? 15th of February. Ooh. It, it's kind of like a constellation map. Um, there's Thames there. There are stars along there. Uh, this looks like a wheel of a ship. Um, there are loads of different like lines and shapes, and it says there you'll. Oh, hang on. Where do I start? At the sign of the Rose and Sea runs the fast river secret beneath. Face the north wind and follow him south. There you'll find the hidden mouth. And the back. And Can you show us the back? Look to the Ooh. stars. I feel like I don't it know if Jim will be that memory. interested. I need yeah. That. 15th of February. I don't know if Jade will be that interested after um, Ship of Shadows 2 just didn't quite grasp you as well. And I feel like this is probably going to be maybe a seafaring one almost. I like seafaring, so that's fine. And if it is just a duology, if anything, that encourages me to pick it up more because then it's the whole story. Yeah. Is then it? it's a duology, bitch. <laughs> yeah. but, but, uh, going back to the Ship of Shadows, you also give the three stars? Oh, the second one. Jay didn't love the second one. Oh, the know. second one. Was, yeah. All right. I didn't give the second one as much as I like the first one. I don't know what I gave the second one, actually. I can't remember. I, I agree, though. I, I, I uh, love the first one more than the second one. I agree yeah. on that. Yeah. Anyway, um, back to the hat makers, Van. Uh, what did you think of the writing then? With... Derailed us. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm always you are talking us. about Ship of Shadows. I'm I'm derailing you. I am railing you guys. Okay, I need to know. 
<laughs> I you know so like yeah Thompson's a debut author what did you think of the writing I think the writing was fine. okay yeah like it was there's nothing to moan about nothing to complain about yeah. also nothing to write home about it was fine for a debut yeah good nothing. I thought it, it could be like more I don't know, a little bit more mysterious or whimsical because, you know, with the hats and the ingredients and stuff, I feel like I that's think very my whimsical. Issue, my issue came more from atmosphere than writing. And I know that right. atmosphere is built by writing, but the writing style in itself, like, it was quick. It was easy to fly through. Um, in regards to the rest of the story, the pacing was okay. It's just that initial, like, big swappity doodah thing um but yeah it, it was it was fine yeah see i felt so enchanted by it just like having to keep wildness in your wits and magic in your fingertips and you know all these little quirks like yeah it wasn't it didn't blow my tits off but i just i i felt i don't know like when i was reading it um it just i don't know it made me happy and i feel like some of that does I come down to, to the writing like I read this during sprints mm -hmm. and I had the absolute best time reading it. I like giggled. Mm -hmm. I had all mm -hmm. the feelings. And also I think, and, and that's why I gave it five stars. Am I always keeping it at five stars? Yeah. I'm keeping it at five stars because <laughs> that was the initial feeling when I finished it. Mm -hmm. I think I read this at the exact right time. Yeah. I so that makes it. all the difference. Yeah, this it makes all the so difference. So much to consider as well. I read this in a week where I have been the most stressed I have been in a long time. Oh no! I just naturally, my entire being has been stressed for the last week. Mm. And I'm, yeah, I'm, you have been. Stressed. Maybe I was naturally just a bit more thorny about it because it was a long time. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, but I feel like you've raised some like really good points. Um, so not all. <laughs> try, we try to be politely. You do. It, it was amazing. It was amazing. And we're gonna have a therapy session after this. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna chat. We're gonna we're gonna chat. Um, yeah. Uh, agree. Wasn't my uh, this is element of nostalgia. I felt like a lot of the classic kids fantasy books I read in my childhood. I think a lot of that landed. Um, I guess too again Thompson being an actress and she's usually she usually does like a lot of period stuff um and things set in the past so it did feel it felt true almost to the era um I just like the little quirks of you know the hustle and bustle of you know people going to the theater the the newspaper the person shouting out the headlines and stuff like that I felt that was very I get that I get it I just didn't feel it yeah which is why stress the girl atmosphere was the biggest yeah. like i yeah. feel like there was a lot more potential for the mm -hmm. atmosphere even like the atmosphere in the workshops like that should have been so much more whimsical and it just mm -hmm. felt pretty dreary mm -hmm. i don't i feel like it could be it could with like some of the amazing visuals we have nowadays with cgi and stuff i feel like this would be could turn into an amazing movie yeah mm. you know with all the visuals of the ingredients and the hat coming together and all the magic and whimsy i feel like this would make like such if there was budget for it it would be like such an amazing movie yeah yeah, yeah. Sam looked hungry, but not for food. Oh, that was so sweet. I loved how they took Sam in at the end as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm I, glad. My, I... Sorry, my my phone is is going berserk. Um, I uh, I'm sell I'm, I'm selling my entire Harry Potter collection, and uh, apparently many many people want. <laughs> nice. I will hope we get a pretty, my... pretty penny from it. Me. Yeah. Get rid of the toxicity. Me. And bring in the dollar. <laughs> Give me yeah. the dollar. I'm not yeah. selling everything. I have uh, some bits and bobs that I want to donate as well. But, you know, the big pieces, 
I'm selling yeah. because I paid a lot of money for that as well. So, yeah. You know. What a good step for you. Um, yes. It's been uh, a really good decision. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so anyway, back to the story, guys. It, honestly, is I need to keep you two on a show at least. Uh <laughs> sorry, Jade, you just keep getting dragged into everything. Yeah, Jade, Jade, can we can we remove Gaffin in some way? Can, can, yeah, we, can we oh, 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 oh yay! Anyway, so back to the book. <laughs> it's just me now. <laughs> right, so what else did I have a problem with? <laughs> Uh, no. Okay. Um. May, okay. Let's let's talk about some nice sister. Um. But maybe ha my heart happy though reminds me how much I love children's books. Who wants to read more middle grade? So this is a good start. Yay. Um. Yay. Much love to you I, too. I have a point that I think Emma's gonna really like. Right. Oh, go on. Okay. Because you know how I say with nonsensical stories and stuff, I do, I like things being illogical throws me out and so on. If you like the illogical, but you need it to have some semblance of sense, have you read Starfell? Because oh. it's really freaking good. <laughs> I really enjoy Starfell, actually. That's a really good show. I, ha <laughs> I haven't read that. Oh, it's I so good. I should read that, shouldn't I? It's really good. It's, it for me, that is like just the right level of illogical nonsense that makes sense within the world and therefore i need to put that on the on the on my list because i'm going book shopping next week i'm going book shopping next week <laughs> i need to put that on the list because i want i want that because i've mm. i've been because emma had said it to my, me many times as well you need to read starfell it's amazing same and i it's wild it's mm -hmm. illogical it's nonsense but it makes sense <laughs> do you think maybe then this book tried too hard to make sense in the illogicalnessness and just didn't do it in the illogicalnessness and the illogicalnessness <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like saying illogical or like I don't, I don't like putting it in a sentence that contains other big words i could say illogical on its own in like this little sentence but when it's with bigger words I fumble. Fumble. It just turn into a word that doesn't make sense. Oh my god, this is blurbed by Anna James. That makes so much sense. Honestly, oh I'm pretty sure Starfell was too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anna James knows what she talks Catherine about. Catherine Doyle, okay. who's that? I've heard that name. Oh, Stonekeeper's before. Island. Stonekeeper's Island. Oh, yeah, I have that book. I haven't read it, though. It's so I have it. Well. Emma Carroll also. Love Emma Carroll. You know what is funny? <laughs> oh god, what? Well. You know when I first picked up this book, I I was looking at the cover and I saw illustrated by Paola Escobar, and I was like, I almost read illustrated by Pablo Escobar, and I was like, what? No. <laughs> if you don't know who Pablo Escobar is, he's he's a bit of a bad guy. <laughs> he's a. So I've heard. I've heard. Mexican drug drug dealer. One of yeah, the biggest in the world. Makes drug sense dealer? to illustrate children's books. Can I go with dealer? Drug dealer. Drug dealer. Yeah. You're not gonna go with drug lord, maybe? Drug lord. Okay, <laughs> drug lord. <laughs> drug lord. Drug you know, dealer. This can sound like a teenager on a street corner, you know? Yeah, no, not that. He was like at the top, you know, at the very top. <laughs> Yeah, same person. Yeah, same person. Trying to build some more cred or at least oh, salvage his reputation. Okay. Columbia. That's mm. Um. Yeah. I. Yeah, it was illustrated by the same person who did the pages and core books. So again, Jade. Oh, Pablo Escobar. Yes. <laughs> Frick off. Uh. <laughs> so. Um. I did like the little illustrations on the chapter headers. They are all very cute. Yeah, and I liked the every now and then you would get the kind of almost oh, book, and yeah page yeah full page I spread. Was cute as well. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, also true, true, true. Um, 
Okay, I just really like the way it made me feel. And that's the important thing, you know. That yeah. is how, especially with a middle grade, I think that is the important thing. Does it make you feel that childish innocence and hope and lightheartedness that middle grade should? The answer is yes. Then it's it does that for you. Yeah. Yeah. And it does. It does. Um, I don't know what else to say now. <laughs> I have, I don't know if it's predictions or just where I like think it should go. But as I've already said, with the, they're all makers and they focus too much on the beginning half of their name and not the second half. I think that it has potential to go in such a way that they all make all sorts of things oh. and become one big happy family. And maybe that's something that she learns on her travels is that she can make lots of other things as well. And maybe that's where it will tie in more closely with House Moving Castle in that mm. Sophie discovers she can make more than just hats. Oh. And knowing that you got a lot of the predictions right in your and first book, you're probably the right. The guild hall will like right. become their new joint workshop, right? The guild yeah. hall will go Ooh. back into its former glory. Former glory days. And they'll yeah. open the cane maker's door as well because yes. they'll learn that they can all make canes as well. And yes. somehow the cane makers are going to have to come back. Yes. But they can yeah. all make canes anyway. Because yes. it's in their fingertips, not in their hairpins. Yes. I think you've literally just told us the entire plot of the second book. Thanks for spoiling that, Jay. Now you've, oh, well, you've read it, haven't you? You've read it. Well, you'll need to find the father. <laughs> that too. Yes, that too, yeah. <laughs> I love how that was an afterthought for us there. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> um, I'm excited. I'm excited to find out. I, I am. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the sequel for sure. I'm gonna buy it as soon as it comes out. I am. Have sure. you read it already, Gavin? The second one. No, I I haven't had time. I've been too busy. I haven't even finished Sophie Anderson's new book yet. <gasps> I know. I'm disgrace, an absolute. Disgrace. That is disgraceful. I, there is still a day left in January. Okay, I still have a day to go. Just Jesus. So. Fuck me, man. You know I mean, I how much I want that book. Content, Priscilla. Mm -hmm. you keep your... Hold on. I can't remember your entire name. Priscilla, Irene, Cornelia. <laughs> Cordelia, Hatmaker. Beatrice. My full name is Priscilla, Cornelia, Theresia, <laughs> Johanna, Irene. Hey, I got that one. Here. And yeah, I got, got that one. I didn't get Johanna. I missed that one. Nah, I wouldn't have gotten any of them except bitch. Anyway, let's I move am on. Royalty. <laughs> you are royalty, to be fair. You are. Um, moving on, moving on. Um, birthdays coming up with any recommendations? Hat makers, map makers, house Get and castle. cities. Stop out. House Moon Castle. House Moon Castle. Um Frost Heart. Pinch of Magic. Um. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the folio uh, one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. It's so pretty. Tis. tis. Oh. Look at her there making hats. Mm. Oh. Oh, don't you make me want to reread it? I've got no time to reread things. I want to reread it myself. Oh my god! Sorry, I just saw a picture of Howl. Oh. oh. She is madly in love with Howl. I think, what? like. Why if... he looks like that, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. What the fuck? I mean. No. I mean that hair. That hair. That hair. Anyway. <laughs> uh closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the hat makers then. Um I loved it and I think I read it at exactly the right time at the right moment. That's mm -hmm. why my initial thoughts were five stars. And I'm very excited for the sequel. 
So yes. those are my thoughts. Say if 100%. I information that it's just a duology, I will read the sequel. But sadly, I just didn't love it as much as I should have. And that's fair. That's fair. Hi, Liv. I've been trying to defend my, my corner. My corner. At least it was better than keeping a lot of seats. That's all I'm saying. You both gave it five stars. What do you want about defend your corner? Look, there's my corner and then there's everyone else's. That's what that's what life is. That's what this world is. Gavin, Gavin, you're backing yourself into a corner here. Okay. Yes. I love doing that though. You are so it's dramatic. A, like, oh, villains. It's it's a nice corner. What can I say? <laughs> um could find Frost Heart. Maybe if you're in America, it's called Voyage of the Frost Heart. Try that one. Um yeah, anyway, uh, in terms of how you think... Okay, right, because obviously we've got middle three monthly all, all year long. Mm -hmm. Do you think this has set a really good... I don't know, like, for, as a starting point, whether it be the new year and stuff, obviously we're always excited for new middle grade books and stuff. Are you excited for what's coming? I am excited. This is the best January book we've had so far. <gasps> yeah! No, it's not true! That is it not is true. true! It is that true! Is not true! <laughs> <laughs> it is it's true. not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It was keepers of the lost cities. <laughs> but overall, overall, with us three, I this was the best book then. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> best January book so far. Average wise, yes. Yeah. So we finally got a January book right. So we can only go up and up next January then. Exactly. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I am excited though because you know the new Nevermore comes out, the new Keepers of the Lost City comes out, Sophie Anderson has a book coming out, Michelle Harrison. Oh, honestly, Michelle Harrison comes out this week, right? This upcoming week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she comes out yeah. on this. Day. Yeah, comes because I'm day. going book shopping next week, and that's on top of my list. Oh my gosh! Tell us one more time. What are you doing? Book shopping? I had no idea. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited as well because I think next month's Ice Whisperers is going to be the best February book. I did really enjoy Wolf for a Spell, but I have high hopes for Ice Whisperers. Yeah, and it's high got hopes. to be the first February book we picked because middle grade monthly in our first year didn't start strong <laughs> no we kind of went a bit hit and miss the only times we ever really hit was when we read books that we knew we loved we like Pinch loved. Magic that is yeah, very we... true. but you know what we found our footing in 2021 2022 it's our year oh I remember so. murder most a lady like <laughs> I can't say let it go let it go <laughs> I remember Keeper of the Lost Cities <laughs> well, Jade loves Keeper of the Lost Cities more than she. Uh, I love the murder most of Lady Life. I do have to admit that. Yeah. I, I, let's, let's just agree between a rock that. and hard I'm taking that. Between a rock and a hard place. That's what it is. That's all it is. Um, they make me feel amazing. Yeah, so four stars. Yay. It's a sexy corner. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> sure. um, all three ready for. Polathon. Is everyone looking forward to Polathon? I am. I am very excited. Yes, I am. I'm very excited. I am dripping like the mountain ice patch <laughs> down there. You are dripping. It's it's like global warming down there right now. Thinking okay. about Polathon. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I think you've got the wrong readathon in mind. <laughs> I'm, maybe I'm putting them both together. I'm going to put this on Twitter. Jade asks, are we all excited for Polathon? Gavin, I am dripping. I, I am on the Arctic ice caps right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the response Jade wanted. <sighs> uh, I definitely don't believe it, Chess. I'll believe it when I say it. I think I, think I am going book shopping next week. Yay. <laughs> Let me be excited, okay? Let me be excited. Uh, 
uh first maybe going but yeah I, I just a rumor just a rumor i heard on the grapevine where did you hear that did you hear that i'm gossip girl hey i'm watching gossip girl again <laughs> yeah we did xoxo xoxo gossip girl xoxo go piss girl uh <laughs> If anyone wants to read, it's not too late. Trying to keep her along. It's true. If you want, if you want to do that to yourself, yes, you can you join know. us. Come follow the Twitter. We had a, we have a lot of fun. Yeah, twenty twenty two is the year to torture yourselves. Is what I've heard. What I've heard. Well, uh, you can hate on keepers. It's fine, as long as I love it. It's all I need. Oh, uh, in you that do. Is such a good and self-loving like mindset to be in like as long as it makes you happy does it really matter what anyone else thinks it does not Mm -hmm. it does not exactly we're happy for you look at you having a healthy mindset i'm so proud (laughs) um order to books for it during the side just get it that's dedicated Looking forward to it. Need Rex for ice magic. Frost heart. Ice whispers. Ice whispers, yeah. But yeah, frost heart. Frost fire. Frost E, the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> All of the frosts. <laughs> uh, I need to get that shout out. So I shall, I shall. I'm I'm also yeah I'm also drilling yeah. <laughs> so am I spent Jenny with Polathon. So oh, it'd be fun to participate. Oh yeah, you know what? I feel like um we did do sprints quite a few times. That's probably been a great time, great time. It probably wasn't like a lot of people's first time because it was still when sprint was quite relatively newish. Yeah, it was a little bit, I suppose. There will mm-hmm. be sprints again this year. Mm-hmm. Sprint. Um, um I, I heard in the grapevine that the best sprints are gonna be my sprints. That's what I heard. That's what I heard on the on the grapevine. Okay. I what I heard in the grapevine is that Pris is working behind the scenes on our Patreon and it's actually oh. mind blowing. Oh my god. I'm actually excited about that. <laughs> Not even like joking, I'm I'm excited, boy girl. <laughs> Go piss, girl. <laughs> oh, I will piss on that. you, yes. Oh, I will piss on you. Uh, it's middle grade monthly press. <laughs> Which book do I want to buy? Which I don't want to buy. I want to buy the new Michelle Harrison, the mm-hmm. Storm Sister thing. I want to buy... Um, daughter of the moon goddess oh and i yes. just i just want to have a browse and just be like i want that. mood shop you want a mood shop that's what you want to do and, this, and mm. put everything in my card because i'm making money right as we speak now on this harry potter merch so i'm oh. gonna spend it do bookshops have it does any bookshop have like shopping cards not car cards not that i've seen anyway we have baskets they should have right they, they only have too. baskets like, i could fill a small supermarket trolley yeah them. like the one where it's just like that yeah. not that yeah. yeah like yeah yeah that would be a good should have, but it's only like the small basket that you need to like carry and yeah. then it gets so heavy i like need myself a butler to carry like my books when i go book shopping a butler okay <laughs> you know like a book butler a book butler i love it i love it that's great where i can be like oh i want this one here hold it for me please <laughs> you can also just get your own i'm gonna make gavin do that one day you bet my sweet ass i'm gonna make gavin do that one day one day you- one day yeah. you'll go book shopping together and Gavin will become a book butler. <laughs> you, you can't make me do shit. <laughs> I can. <laughs> uh, I, I did enjoy I did enjoy the series. I haven't read the third one yet, but I did enjoy the first two. Yeah. Oh, see, Jess will do it. Jess, yes. 
Oh, oh I trolley need to baskets. Just go to shop with Jess. It's actually I need trolley baskets. But it's still not the same as like pushing a prop, like shopping trolley, is it? Yeah, I, I love the feeling. I want to be that. have the proper push like this, you know. Yeah, because then like I like to ram into other people as I'm doing it. Can't really ram people with a, a shopping trolley. Trolley shop, shop. What was that again? Uh, <laughs> shop. Trolley basket. It's a little bit higher on the screen. Uh, <laughs> I can't be ramming people with that. It won't hurt as much. Right. <laughs> oh, you don't even get baskets? I oh, know. We just have to carry all the books. Wear a suit and bow tie as well. Shiver of sky, stone sky. Underrated duology there. I love them. Mm -hmm. Couple of cards, noise, noise. Nice. Oh, all right. Well, I guess if we don't have anything else to say about why we are here, other than to just look pretty and beautiful, uh, <laughs> I think I'll call it a night. Thank you so much, guys, for the first official book club of 2022. Um, I, 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 I we only did the end New Year's one only like three weeks ago or something, yeah, right? It, so this was this wasn't the first live, live of 2022, live but it it's just feel it, official book club live. First, yeah, yeah, book club. Well, about 60% of this was book club, 40% <laughs> of it was random. Uh, but that's what you come to expect from okay. us. Mm -hmm. Uh so thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. Um, Jay, did you see your TBR's going up tomorrow? Yes. For Polython? Awesome. Uh, looking forward to that. Everyone, make sure, oh yeah, if you're not already subscribed, do check out my lovely ladies in the description box as well. And yes, I'm we very also, close to 2K. <laughs> I, I'm removing, you know, Pris, I do not allow self-promotion on this channel. I do it. I do it for you. Oh, you do it. Okay. <laughs> I do it for you. Okay. Pris, right, Pris is very close to 2K. And <laughs> yeah, I guess, did you not know? And, you know, she does amazing sprints, honestly, some of the best sprints around. Honestly, sometimes sometimes even better than mine, if I do say so myself. Um, so do check out War Press and get her to that lovely milestone because she deserves it so much because she works so hard for it. And that's oh, the last yeah. time I'm going to say anything nice about your press. You're going down. Say, when, this, when does it start to go down? <laughs> it's going to start going down. And um, we do have Polython coming up, and that's when shit's probably going to hit the fan. So yes, we're, we're going to fight each other. We're going to like. We're, we're going to fight erotically anyway yes. let's um let's head off now <laughs> Chris gets a nice little go into the place he's great don't worry about me it's fine I'm off yeah, Hi, I'm yeah. don't subscribe nice bye Jade. bye <laughs> everyone check out Paulathon check out Jade's TBR video tomorrow it's gonna be amazing Arctic animals Arctic animals Let's see, I don't have to resort to that level, so it's fine. Anyway, bye, everyone. <laughs> bye, everyone.